My vision is to provide you the latest and greatest kitchen equipment. This is the 24 centimeter stainless steel combined aluminium frying pan by Jamie Oliver T. Fowl. It's non stick material, but it's a basic non stick on there. It's not as hard anodized with the thermo point here to indicate when it's getting hot with his designer look, designer finish. And he's got his name underneath saying it's Jamie Oliver works on all hobs, induction, halogen, gas, everything. It's steel frame here and aluminium on the side. So it's induction compatible. So if you've got the new cookers, it will be fine with a basic bolstered handle non-stick. The handle is hollow, but it's not thick as I expected. It's more of a shallow handle to give you a better grip. But I'm expecting this to stay cool, but it may get hot. But we're gonna do some base pancakes for the kids to see how good it is, how bad it is. So let's see what we need to make the pancakes. So I've got one cup of plain flour. I'm using three tablespoon of sugar. We've got one cup of milk and we're gonna be using cheese as well to make. So this is gonna be cheesy pancake. This milk wise, we're not gonna use it all up. We do, we're gonna use it. So adding as you go on, that's how it's processed. So let's start to make this pancake. Let's add three tablespoons of sugar right into this. First of all, I'm adding a pinch of salt, but it's all up to you to the taste. If you need more, add more. If you don't, don't add any. So now you just need to get a whisk, mix it all up and add the milk. So slowly pour in the milk all over and start mixing again. So you need it to go. So it needs to be medium runny. So keep on whisking. As it goes more dry, add more milk and carry on whisking. So it's simple design. If you have it too runny, add more flour. If you got it too light, add more milk. So you can see the consistency, keep on whisking. And this is where it should come to. So when it is quite runny, this is how it should be. So it's it gonna flow into your frying pan and make great pancakes. So we've done with the mixture. Let's make the pancake now. Put your gas level to medium size. Get your Jamie Oliver on. Frying pan. You just need to heat it up to a point where the writing itself in the Jamie Oliver disappears. That is the indication of the frying pan top. That's with all of their frying pans. So as I was saying before, I'm expecting the handle to get medium to high hot. Because it, it feels hollow, but it doesn't feel solid as is core. Jamie Oliver range, this feels basic because the non-stick is basic as well. So as soon as it's hot, you're gonna get some olive oil and use olive oil to spread it all around. So as the oil, the name's disappearing, get some olive oil, spread it all around. Dash of olive oil is fine, you just need to spread it all over. Get yourself the pancake mixture, pour it in. Everyone knows how to make a pancake, it's very simple. We're testing out how the frying pan, how good it is. It did get hot quite quickly. Just spread it all around. I gotta say, the handle hasn't got hot yet. So you can use your hand to maneuver this. So it's touch cool all the way from there, from the top to the bottom, from there all the way to the end, it's touch cool. All you need to lower the gas, put the lid on and let it Cool down. I don't have a big enough lid, but I'm using this. I'm gonna let it lower gas, let it simmer properly. And I guess as it's going through, the handle is not getting hot. This area is hot, but all the other areas as you're going through, all this area is cool to handle. I'm not, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna burn it. I can see this point getting hot, but overall here, it's cool. So easy to handle. So it's because it's hollow, you can use your hand, you don't have to use gloves or oven gloves or anything like that. So thumbs up so far and let's see how the non-stick works itself. So when it's one and a half, two minutes over, flip it over so it doesn't burn or anything. You get yourself a spatula. I'm using a Joseph Joseph spatula. I'll leave the details in the description if you do want to know what aspect about it. 
The great aspect about this one, it's hygienic. So when you are lying it down, it doesn't touch the surface. So you don't have to worry about bacterial getting on this. So it's a great spatula as well. So when that is heating up, get a bit of tap, let both sides basically, if you see the golden marker there, both sides have heated up. It's nice and level, it's great tasty. You can have lemon, sugar, I'm gonna use cheese. So it's quite effective, it is working quite well. The non-stick aspect of it is pretty good. So if you've got a bit of love there, it just maneuvers off quite nice and easy. So, so far, so far it's good. So flip it over, add a little bit of cheese if you do want to make it a cheesy one. If you want to make it a sugary one, if you want to make a lemon, it's all up to you. I'm adding a bit of cheese, a bit more meatier finish to it. So all you do, add it on. Use the spatula to flip it. Do be careful to not to burn yourself. So flip it over. Use other materials if you do need to. But if you're great at flipping, just use the spatula. And again, simple, easy to do. And you can see it's not leaving any marks there, not any burn marks or any non-stick. So far, I've got to say, the handle does get hot here, but all the way there, I'm going to leave my hand for a little while. It doesn't burn. You don't burn your hands. You don't do anything. You can leave your hand for a little while, but it's up to here. It is hot. So all you do, take it away and you've done your pancake. So far, I've got to say, guys, the frying pan does get hot very quickly and it's nice and easy to use. You can make one of the frying pans, you can make pancakes, you can make anything, you can make a breakfast. It's a 24 centimeter one here. And as I was saying, the handle does get hot here, but up to a point where you can keep your hand here for a little while and it won't get hot. So I gotta like this aspect of it. It doesn't get hot and you can keep your hand do pancakes, do other things on it. It's all up to you. It's simple. So far, I've got to say it's a decent frying pan and non-stick is okay on there. If you're going to do a rigorous non-stick clean, if you're only going to use a steel spatula on these, you're going to scratch it. It is dishwasher compatible, but if you're going to use a non-stick spatula like I've been using the Joseph Joseph one, you'll be absolutely fine because it is a basic non-stick. But if you're gonna use a stainless steel one, you're gonna damage it. And overall, it's steel part, you can see there. And the steel on the bottom is great to make it well induction. The handle doesn't get hot where you can use your hand. And as it, I'm using it, it's great. Gotta say, and the pancake coming out perfect. I do like it. You can flip it up. You can use any type of lid on it. So far you can do your extravagant flips or just keep it like that. Non-stick wise is good. I gotta say I'm enjoying it so far. And the handle is not getting hot to where you can't touch it. Riveted, that's helping. Slightly hollow, that's helping as well. So guys, I gotta give it a thumbs up so far. After about six months, I'll do another review, see how it is going. Thank you for watching guys. Thank you for listening. See you on the flip side. Bye bye.